this video I'm going to be doing an individual integral. We're going to take a look at this rational function and we are going to first change it into something that's going to make the integral extremely simple. So we're going to take this rational expression and we're going to do some long division. So we'll put that x to the third on the inside and we'll put the x plus 1 on the outside. Okay, so x goes into x to the third x squared times. When I multiply coming around, I'll have an x to the third plus an x squared. That quantity's got to be subtracted. The x to the thirds will fall out. That's going to leave me with a negative x squared. x going into a negative x squared needs a negative x. Multiplying coming around, I will have a negative x squared minus an x. And again, subtracting that quantity, negative x squared minus a negative x squared, the, those will fall out. And then um, 0 minus a negative x will leave me with a positive x, with x going into this x one time. All right, and multiplying coming around again, that'll give me an x plus 1. And subtracting that quantity will give me a remainder of a negative 1. Okay, long polynomial division there, um, but really in not too bad and that's going to make the integral a whole lot easier because now this rational expression is going to be equal to going counterclockwise around our division here I'll have x squared minus x plus 1 minus a 1 over x plus 1 so this expression is equal to the original rational function alright so I can rewrite that integral as the integral of x squared minus x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. We have that all as 1 right there with a dx. Okay, now if I write this as two individual integrals, it's going to integrate really, really simply. So I'll have the integral of x squared minus x plus 1 with a dx minus the integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx. This is going to be a straight integration, so let's go ahead and do that. Add one, in, add 1 to that exponent will give me an x to the third with a 1 third out in front. Adding 1 to the exponent here will give me an x squared, putting a 1 half out in front. And integrating 1 with the dx is going to give me an x. And then minus, hopefully you recognize this being the natural log of absolute value here. So natural log, absolute value of that x plus 1, and then a plus c. So really, after you do that original long division with that polynomial, then the integration becomes a straightforward integration. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget um, to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.